Many of the innovations in WaveLab Pro 9 are refinements and streamlining of pre-existing functions, but the master rig introduces entirely new and revolutionary capabilities to WaveLab Pro 9. The master rig is located in the effects area of the master section. An instance of master rig is preloaded in the effects area by default, but you can also find it under Steinberg, Mastering, then select Master Rig. This is the basic master rig with no modules added. You have the module area at the top, scenes here, the center area devoted to the graphical display and controls, and then the master area and meters. To add a module, click the plus icon. Here you can choose one of these modules from the four basic families. Let's start with the limiter. As soon as you add a module, its controls populate the lower pane and the graphical area displays a frequency meter. To add additional modules, simply click the plus sign again. Let's add a compressor. You can see that the graphical editor in the controls area automatically changed to the selected module. You can change the order of the signal chain simply by dragging a module to the position that you want. And you can remove a module by clicking the X. The compressor module is capable of up to four bands of independent processing. You can set each band's frequency and gain structure simply by clicking and dragging. And you can change the number of bands here, or by simply clicking the associated off button. Notice that each band can be set to a different type of compression. Standard, tube, vintage, or maximizer. Each band can also be split into a mid-side configuration, effectively making it two compressors. And you can switch it back again by clicking the left arrow. And clicking this arrow again splits it into left-right mode. And we're going to look at mid-side processing in detail in the next video. The compressor and the dynamic EQ modules also have an internal sidechain option on each band. Click on the triangle in the lower left corner of each band to open the sidechain. Then click the Activate button to activate it. Then adjust the frequency and Q values as desired. At the top of the graphical area are some universal controls that include linking. By enabling absolute linking, changing one parameter on one EQ band will set all of them to the same value. By comparison, if you select relative linking, changing one parameter will adjust the others but maintain their internal differential. You also have the option for Auto Listen, which automatically solos the band that you're working with. You can click the gear icon to access the global preferences like spectrum display and EQ curvature. And you have the global undo redo buttons at the end. At the very bottom is an independent control to set the module's output level, which is key for your overall gain staging. Next, let's add an 8-band EQ module. The basic controls are straightforward. You have 8 EQ nodes which you can manipulate by clicking and dragging to set the frequency and gain. Then hold the Shift key while clicking and dragging to adjust the Q value. Each band can be set to one of four EQ types, plus added cut filters on the bands 1 and 8. For extremely precise control, you can double-click the numeric area and type in the desired value. And like we saw with the multiband compressor, you can eliminate unwanted nodes simply by clicking the off button. And again, the signal can be split into mid-side, stereo, or left-right as desired, as can almost all the modules in Master Rig. Now let's add an instance of the new Dynamic EQ. This amazing new tool combines the basic functions of an EQ and a compressor. This allows you to adjust the filter settings as you would with a traditional EQ, and also determine when the EQ kicks in and how much effect it has based on the dynamics of your program material. So you can configure gains, frequency, and Q with the upper controls just like a traditional EQ, and then use the controls at the bottom as you would with a compressor to determine the threshold where the EQ goes active, and the ratio controlled to set how much impact it will have. And like the other modules we've seen, you can change the types of EQ here, and cycle between mid-side, stereo, and left-right mode. The saturator module also gives you up to four bands to feather in an analog, warmth, or vintage character to exactly the frequency range you want. 
And again, you have left, right, stereo, and mid-side support for each band. And you can set each band's saturation type individually. And you can control each band's frequency and gain settings using standard click and drag techniques. The Imager module allows you to enhance the stereo field of your material using powerful and intuitive controls applied over one to four bands of enhancement. And the Limiter module provides another set of powerful dynamic control tools, including three bands of transient control and the ability to enhance the signal's harmonic content. And of course, the option to switch between brick wall and maximizer modes. Once you have a configuration of modules set, WaveLab Pro 9 allows you to switch to a different scene and set up an entirely new configuration. You can copy one scene to another like this. This allows you to make subtle changes and then do a quick and easy A-B comparison.